It's very interesting because the BJP spokespersons will not come if Ms. Srinath is there. And it seems Ms. Srinath is not going to come if uh, there are individuals from the RSS who's there. But let's cut across right now uh, to Ms. Professor Sangeet Raghi, who's a political analyst. He was also part of uh, the content committee which looked into uh, the content of the Nehru Memorial Museum and going forward. The question I want to ask you, uh, Mr. Raghi, is very... Uh, the sheer fact that in 2016 the Prime Minister had come out and said that there is a need and an urgent one at that, that a museum be created for honouring all our Prime Ministers. That can happen side by side. A new institution, a new museum can be created to honour all our Prime Ministers. Why change something which already exists in the name of Nehru? Now this particular museum, which is the Nehru Memorial Museum, has nothing to do with recounting what the Prime Ministers of this country or heads of states of this country has done. It's primarily an institution of research for contemporary India and therefore it was named after the first Prime Minister of the country. So what's, uh, first, you know, why not have something alternative? Why okay. rename a structure which already exists? First. First of all, uh, let me say that only intellectually coward believe in the political untouchability, those who doesn't have the capacity to debate in open forum. So the BJP is not coming summons. with Mr. Just Day. a moment, just a moment, no. It, then it cuts Please. both ways. Second, second way. The Congress spokesperson said that it is Nehru who laid the foundation of uh, uh, liberal democracy in India. It is patently wrong false and absurd. It is the constitution which has laid the foundation of constitutional liberal democracy of India. Third, Congress suffers, Congress and its political uh, spokesperson suffer from political glaucoma. They are dynasts so much deep in the mud of political dynasty that they never have mustered courage to think beyond the Gandhi Nehru family. The whole intent of coming out with a new museum was to look at the journey of India through the Prime Ministers. It is not only Nehru who has contributed to, and I am sorry to say, he is not only the one who contributed to making of this modern India. If unification is the criteria, first and foremost, the kind of territory that we find today, it was not Nehru, it was Sardar Patel who created the India what we have today. Secondly, as an institution builder of build, builders also, the kind of bureaucracy that you see today, it is not the credit that goes to Nehru, but it goes to Patel. Further, the, prime, the, the Modi government wanted that all the prime ministers of this country have contributed to the making of this nation. The nation that we have today, there has been contribution for all great prime ministers, little or more, in proportion okay. to the, you know, the time they, they remained as a Prime Minister, whether it was Charan Singh or not. But the dynast only think that the political iconography of a nation should be named in terms of Mr. Gandhi Sangeet and Nehru. Can I ask you a question? You're yes, on the, yes. You are on the board, sir, yes. of uh, looking at the content of the new museum? Yes. 